It's the 2022 Lagos State Education Summit. Experts in the education sector and other key stakeholders converge on Eco Hotel and Suites to discuss how to create a sustainable education model in the state. Expectations are high that this summit will contribute to the process of solving major issues associated with the education sector. We want to leave here with practical and implementable solutions that can be used to build the workforce that will power the Lagos State economic development agenda. This panel session highlights what should be put in place to improve standards. And if the last two and a half years have told us anything as well, the, that ability to be agile, to flex, and also the increasing reliance on technology. So how do we bring that into the classrooms from a primary through to a tertiary education systems to develop the skills for the future? The Minister of Economic Planning and Budget is collaborating with the Lagos State Employment Trust Fund and GIZ to build what we call a, labor, a Lagos State labor market information system. Um, and the idea for it is to be able to connect uh, between what is happening in our institutions of training and what is happening in, in industry. If we don't get the curriculum right, if we don't get, uh, constantly retrain our teachers, if we don't understand that technology is going to be the only solution going forward, just given the total numbers that we're having to deal with, um, yeah. I think we're going to fail at it. Governor Babajide Sawulu, who joins virtually, says his administration set aside 10% of its 2022 budget for education, which has led to positive results. The investment we have made in education in the last three years, you know, we are beginning to see the benefit of it. We are beginning to see it show up in the outcome of, you know, the wired results that is coming out from our public schools. You know, um, three years ago, we were below 40%. Now we have crossed the 80% mark in all of our public, you know, um, secondary school. Participants are hopeful that deliberations at this summit will help shape the state's education sector to achieve a fit-for-purpose academic standard.